Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go over how to set up a Wix payment plan. So in order to get your site hosted by Wix and connect it to a domain, um, your own custom domain, you need to choose one of Wix, Wix's payment plans. So there is a free, free plan that um, obviously is free to use, um, but you won't be able to connect your own domain. You'll get one of the um, generated domains, um, but obviously you want to connect your own custom domain so people can find your website a little bit better. Um, so what you want to do is, uh, when you're on your dashboard, the way to view all the plan options that you have is you just go into compare plans over here. And this will take you to the Wix plan. Um, Wix, as you know, has several different plans. Um, so it's separated into the ba basic website plans, and these are good for um, sort of basic brochure build kind of sites. Then you've got the business and e-commerce plans, and that's obviously for your e-commerce website. And then you've got enterprise plans. So these are uh, more custom and slightly bigger websites that you will need to sort of uh, speak to Wix for and give you get you like a custom quote, essentially. Um, because it's an e-commerce site and you're accepting payments online, you want to make sure that you're selecting a business and e-commerce plan. Um, and they've got three of them. So they've got the business VIP, unlimited and basic. And uh, currently they have a sale on um, and they do um, discounts like this all the time. So just keep an eye on that. Um, the main difference between the three of these is the storage space. Um, so with the business basic, you get the least amount of storage space. You get about 20 GBs and then VIP, you get about 50 GB. Um, and that just depends on how many products and how much content you have in the site in general. If you have a lot of videos, it's going to take up a lot more storage space. Um, if you realize you actually don't have that much, then maybe um, you can get away with just having the 20 GB. Um, it's one thing to note that with the plans, they're not like set in stone. So if you decide to go with the business basic with the 20 GB and you realize as you're adding more and more products, um, actually you do need more storage space, you can upgrade at any time. Um, you're not stuck with the 20 GB or if you're um, have you been if you've been paying for the business unlimited and you realize you're you're way you're well below the 35 GB and you don't need that much um, you can scale back down to the uh, basic plan so you can upgrade and downgrade your plan as needed um, some people like to use the business basic for now see how they go and then upgrade their plan at a later date um, with the business unlimited sometimes if there's an offer it works out better just to use that until the offer expires so it's up to you how you want to use it and which plan would kind of suit you. The uh, other thing that you get with um, the business VIP that you don't get for the other two is the priority customer care. So every single Wix plan that you have um, comes with the option of getting support from Wix. Um, really easy to submit a ticket and have them either call you back or email you back, whichever that you prefer. And any issues that you're having with Wix, whether that's payment issues, billing issues, account information issues, even issues with editing your site, you can always set up a call with them uh, submit a ticket anytime and then they'll get back to you and talk you through how to fix it basically um, with the unlimited and the basic you get the 24 7 customer care so you can submit a ticket anytime and they will get back to you with the priority customer care they'll just get back to you a little bit faster um, but again the 24 customer care is still very good they they'll don't they tend to not take that long anyway to reply and um, so I would um, even if, if you end up with one without the priority customer care you'll still be okay and there's more features as well you can see here um, that Wix come with that you can go through as well and see um, what comes up with each of the plans. But once you've selected a plan, you just click select and then choose your billing cycle. Continue to check out and then fill in all of your information to officially purchase the plan. Um, once you're happy with everything, that'll be your plan connected. And the only other thing you need to do then is uh, connect your domain. Um, and that's it. That's your site ready to, uh, that's your site ready uh, live, ready to accept payments, ready to um, essentially allow customers to buy from your site, whatever it is that you have set up. Once your uh, plan is bought, um, you can actually manage all of your plan payment settings, uh, account settings through here. If you go onto the dashboard and under account settings, you'll be able to see sort of all of the plan details that you have. So things like your, so it'll be under your premium subscriptions essentially. Um, so you obviously have your uh, plan settings and you can see under the premium subscription you can see what uh, business plans that you are currently have um, and if you ever needed to you can always uh, up update your payment method or you can always change the plan that you have or change the billing cycle or 
cancel any plans that you have as well um, so it's really easy to kind of manage your cycles so if you decide for example that you went for the combo plan and actually you realize you need the uh, basic or you need the unlimited something like that um, or if you started off as a non-business and e-commerce plan and then later on you realize actually you want to be able to sell products then you want you can always uh, upgrade to a business plan as well so you can at any time upgrade your plan downgrade your plan cancel your plan um, you just need to go into account settings and then just change whatever uh, plan it is that you have um, and another thing to take note is that every single plan that you purchase comes with a um, free support package by Wix. So Wix have a 24-7 support team essentially um, where you can, um, um, if, with any issues that you have with Wix, um, whether that's account settings, billing issues, even any issues, even editing the site, all you need to do is submit a ticket with Wix's support and they, someone will get back to you hopefully within a few minutes um, uh, with, a, with a solution basically and you can talk to either a support bot or you, you can ask people to um, call you back. So the way to set up a ticket, what you want to do is come to the dashboard anywhere on the back end of your site. It doesn't have to be on the home. It can be like if you're in payment settings, if you're in um, the, ac the account settings. All you need to do is when you're on the dashboard, look for this little question mark here. Click into the question mark and then select one of the options that you have in this help center. So um, is there something I can help with today? And then you want to basically just select one of these options. Um, whether that's billing charges, editor charges, mailboxing, accepting payments. Um, if it's something else, then you can always click other. Um, or if there's something that's not here, what you can do is, um, so you want to get close to the um, uh, issue, you want to find the closest issue as well. You might not find the exact one. Um, so you want to give them uh, a brief description essentially of what you need help with. Um, and you can just say, um, with setting up whatever it is that you're having uh, help with uh, whatever you need help with you would just explain that um, so you would just kind of go through this chat box um, and uh, answer some of the questions and what they'll usually do is send you some articles that you think that they think would help and you can view some of the articles as well and if you realize actually that's fine then you can say problem solved and hit yes if you realize actually no the article didn't help and you need more help you just click no and uh, they will essentially try to um, either send more articles or they will actually um, uh, lead you to kind of um, a live chat, whether that's a live chat within this chat box or you can request an actual callback or you can schedule a callback, um, whichever one that you want. If you start a live chat, then you can, it'll be within this window here, request a callback. Um, they'll ask you for um, exactly the number that um, you want to be called on it doesn't have to be the number associated with your account you can just type in your actual number and then someone will call you back on that number um, and they're very helpful as uh, any issues that you have with Wix if they can't sort out with the articles if you can't find anything in the forums then this help center is also really good um, I hope this video helps and if you um, enjoyed that please check out more in, in our playlist and um, there's lots of helpful Wix uh, tutorials that we have thank you bye